Hello everybody, this is Martin here, um, playing uh, Legacy Storm and Nauseam Tendrils. You'll find a list underneath the video. I am playing today against Death and Taxes. Um, and these videos, you'll, you'll see um, these, these games play out kind of how you want them to against D&T. Um, fast and low to the ground. At least game one. But let's see. Uh yeah. Keep for sure. Um again, uh well, I mean no black land uh, black producing land, but it's fine. Petal probe and cantrips. My opponent is on the play, planes into mom. Okay. Well. Yes, turn two Thalia, I'm probably dead. We probe him and we see that my opponent doesn't really have anything. He has a wasteland for our bulk, which is a, can be problematic, and he also has a port for later on. So we can end up getting locked out on, on mana, but no Thalia, no Revoker. Yeah. And I think we have to preordain and hope to find a land. We don't, but we. So like I don't want the brainstorm. That's go that goes to the bottom. I guess I don't really want the probe. Although it can add a storm. And I don't think my life total is under any amount of pressure right now. So brainstorm on the bottom, draw the probe, pass the turn. Vile and he wastelands me. Yep. No, not getting in there with mom. I would have gotten in there. Um Ah, draw land. Perfect. So, we just pass the turn. We could probe here, but, like, he didn't draw a Thalia. Chances are he won't draw one uh, now, so I think we're, we're okay to wait. Plays his port, but, yeah, what are you going to do with that? We draw uh, an LED and win the game. <laughs> Great. So we, we want to probe first. Let's see if we can hit another land or dark ritual. And he's at an effective 21 because he can plow his source of flashers, his mother of runes. We draw a tendril. Whatever. We just win. It's all good. Rain of Filth acts just like a, like just cycles for storm. Uh, kind of mana wise. Yeah. And he doesn't even watch me play it out. So easy peasy. Alright, so here we bring out the or we bring in rather the, the two massacres, the chain of vapor and one to two abrupt decay. Decay is obviously susceptible to land destruction uh, as I'm only running one trop. Um, but I still think I want the second decay as well. Uh, I bring out um, the second Pass the Flames because they're a rest in peace deck and the second Tendrils and the Duress and the thought season, I think maybe I keep in the thought season and bring out a therapy instead. Um so what two massacre three. And I think I also I maybe I bring out a preordain, I'm not sure. It's one of those iffy things where you just not you're unsure what to shape for the last the last bit. Um but let's see. Yeah, I don't think I'm I'm getting away from keeping this hand. It's pretty pretty nice. Lotus, oh sorry, an LED off the top, and I just I'm just gonna throw up goblins all over him. Even like an LED off of my ponder. Mother runes, sure. So what do we get? 
another tutor. Yeah. It's not so hot. So like fetching an, a basic island here, I think you know, that's kind of what you want where you want to be against death and taxes. Thing is I, my other fetch land is not a delta, so I can't fetch a uh, basic swamp. So that would be an argument for not fetching basic island just going throwing caution to the wind and fetching uh, non-basics, but yeah. And ponder this, yeah, like an LED would have been, uh, you know, the, the ideal. But we keep this, we uh, draw the probe, then we can brainstorm into three fresh cards next turn. Oops, I forgot to look. He has a revoker, is uh, sort of the main point of interest. Um, yeah, he has a Revoker, a Mirror and Crusader. Uh, he does not have a Wasteland, I don't think. Okay, so Revoker is coming down, naming Lion's Eye Diamond most likely. Yeah, which, alright, we don't have one at the moment, but that could be a bit, a, a bit annoying. We draw our basic swamp. And we brainstorm into more cantrips. This is getting a little bit or so we put back the swamp so that we can fetch it out with the delta later and then to one of the two tutors. For the time being we're just gonna cantrip some more. So I guess in some World, I Grim Tutor for a Massacre and win. So I think we're keeping the, these. No, we didn't. We shuffled. Huh. I think I should have kept. Because we have both Dark Ritual and Reign of Filth, so we could go next turn. We could have gone land. I mean, let's say we drew the LED, and then we drew the. And then the next turn, we drew the Grim Tutor. We go Delta, Fetch, Swamp, Dark Ritual. So that would be five uh, mana. Reign of Filth is four, but Nets is three afterwards, so that's seven. And then we also have the Petal, and then we use the uh, Grim Tutor, go down to four mana, and Massacre, go down to, and then play out the LED, have four, five mana with the Petal. Yeah, we should have done that. We, we we would have won, I think. Well, I missed it. Ah, I need your wasteland, I guess. Yep. And another revoker. Okay, so this is getting a bit problematic. He gets in there. I draw a ritual. Well, I guess it's fine. And we brainstorm. Man, I can't believe I missed that Grim Tutor play. Put back both LEDs. And just start working towards getting help in, I guess. Therapy. I named Mirren Crusader. Because that's the only thing. <laughs> I remember that was the only card I remembered in his hand. I was playing a bit loose. Um, I think I probably would have named Sword of Fire and Ice. Um, if I had remembered it. Still Forge Mystic, and he doesn't search up anything because he's removed the other two equipments. Okay, it beats me down to nine. I draw Passing Flames. Okay, so drawing a Passing Flames means I just need a red source, but that has to be a, a land. So one of my one of my five remaining fetch lands, or the Badlands, or no, the Volcanic Island was wasted. So five fetches and a Badlands. Those are my six outs I'm drawing to. And that pretty much has to be now. Well, I believe the saying is better lucky than good. So, yeah, we just win. Hooray!
Play out everything. Recycle everything. Keep the tutor in hand. Tutor for a tutor. And then tutor for another tutor. And we have Storm 10. So I guess that's all she wrote. We probe for good measure. I guess just to see that he hadn't drawn like a mind break trap or something. Which I guess he would have used. And we can sack our lands from the Reign of Filth. And we win. So I think, yeah, I was I was playing it, I think, way too loosely. And should have just seen that Grim Tutor line. Um, but we got there in the end, and I think... I think we got pretty lucky that he never saw Thalia or any of his sideboard hate. I'm assuming he, he would have brought in canonists um, and stuff. I think I'm running four canonists in my Death and Taxes sideboard. Um, Alright, well, thanks for watching.